Yo, what's going on guys? It's a little known fact that Warwick is a hard counter to Graves. In fact, one of Graves' lowest win rate champions that he can play against in the jungle. Graves is hyper meta right now, especially if you're playing platinum and up. He is a massive issue, but even if you are in lower elo, I'll be showing you kind of how to deal with Graves. The biggest thing you need to know is he is a hyper red buff reliant jungler. Without red buff, he can't do anything. He has no kill pressure. His ganks suck. You get the point. So what you want to do is set up to watch for an invade, set up to watch for his wards and you're gonna get your word down, preferably on his red side to watch for an invade. Now something you should know about Graves is he can hop the wall right here. If he hops the wall and hugs left side, this bush doesn't do anything, so you'd actually be better off laying the word about right here. That way it can cover this option and that option. So just keep that in mind, I already made a mistake. Hopefully he doesn't red buff invade my blue, I doubt it, because it's very common for Warwick to red, blue, gromp, so the odds of him doing that are actually very low. So against Graves, you just want to figure out where he's starting and then you go from there. As long as you run into him when you're level 3, you beat him. You don't really want to fight him at level 2. At level 2, he has a really big advantage up on you. Alright, I wasn't sure if Teemo started Poison Dart. So for those of you wondering why I stopped hitting it, I thought maybe I was about to lose my buff. So it looks like the enemy bot lane's still missing Fiora's to lane super early. So yeah, it looks like Graves started on his blue buff. Big mistake, you'll see that out of a lot of low elo Graves players. We're gonna three camp clear and try to kill him on his red buff or on his golems. Graves normally does more of a five camp clear. He's not a six camp clear jungler. After five camps, he can gank scuttle, uh, gank and then scuttle after five camps. So in this case, he's probably gonna do blue, gromp, wolves, wraps, red, and then push out. Should be able to find him on his red buff. Even if he did a four camp clear, I should find him there. Take my gromp. I could have smited it earlier to try to get my attack speed bonus. Nice job by the Riven. I'm gonna push up on his red buff. We're gonna use our sweeper, make sure this isn't warded. This also gives us really good vision of where he might be. All right, now you wanna use your W before you fight them. It gives you attack speed. Check this out, we have 0.74. I'm gonna flash auto attack Q through. By auto attacking and then queuing, you're giving them time to react and flash. If you immediately flash and then Q, a lot of times they won't flash in time, so. If you're gonna flash E, flash auto attack Q, just like I did there. We take red buff, and now we're gonna go for a scuttle crab. He has 16 CS, that means he did a f that's four camps, so he probably did these three plus rafters, like you see there. That's exactly, exactly what he did. We're gonna fear it, takes more damage when it's hard CC'd. I kinda wanna save my smite because I wanna get the right side scuttle crab. On Warwick, your ganks aren't amazing. You typically focus more on uh, objectives or rugby wanting the enemy jungler. I have Nimbus Cloak and Water Walking. You can go for Relentless Hunter. I'm not a huge fan of it. I should have auto attacked him, then queued through. Kind of want him to all in me. Just lost half his health. That was a really bad trade for him. If we fight Graves in him here, we should win it. He's going to walk around and ward that. Graves is on it right now. He's gonna hop the wall. I wanna all in this guy. Tristan is pretty easy to gank for. If she can get on top of his head. Oh, we just wasted dash. He's dead. 100%. Auto attack him. Auto attack Q through. Your Q has more range than your autos by a significant margin. So you normally Q after you can no longer reach them with your autos. In this case, I wanna back and get my team map. Dragon's coming up. Even though Dragon spawns in at the 5 minute mark, you don't actually want to do Dragon until 5.30 normally, I'll tell you why. It's actually really important and very uh, risky to do it pre-5.30. So at 5.30 there's a plant on the left side of Dragon Pit that you can use to get into it. Even if the enemy team has this area warded or even if they have Scuttle Crab, it can't see into the pit. So unless they lay their ward directly like right on top of the pit, like right here or closer, it's not going to be able to see you. So you can take the back plant. Take dragon and that blast going doesn't spawn until 5:30. So early game. You're just mainly trying to get level three on Warwick. Usually double buffs plus Gromp for that level three. Your first back, you typically don't want it back until you can afford Tiamat. And uh, for your first item, I normally recommend Titanic Hydra right now into Cinder Hulk, picking up your boots in between. For your runes, like I said, you can go to start a video to see those. Secondary Nimbus Cloak is better for early game. 
If you go for Relentless Hunter, that's better more for the mid late game. The plant will be up now, it's 5.30. Check this out. Oh my god, how do we know? I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna lay a pink ward right there, just to make sure the pit wasn't warded. I used my Q route and was about to knock me back there to avoid the CC. Your Q on warp cancels displacement, so Rambus knock up. Any kind of knock up or knock back, you can cancel out with your Q. You'll still soak the damage, but you'd avoid the CC aspects. You W max first on work, it gives a lot more stats per level than Q max. I need them to get them half health, and I can tear this up. Yumi is so annoying to gank. I think Ezreal is going to be on cooldown. Oh, that fight actually wasn't close at all. They still had a flash and exhaust. No, he's dead. That was terrible. That's all right. If your teammates do plays like those, and if they start pinging you, you got to just mute them so you can carry them. Staun is probably one of my better lanes to gank. I want to get level 6. I don't want to push into Graves jungle. I don't have any bot prio. Enemy bots popping off here. I kind of want to pull it into bush. I don't want Graves to sneak up on me. I'm going to smite it early because I don't think... The chances of being here is low. Once it gets to half health or lower, you get that extra attack speed. I need to soak like one minion worth of experience to get level 6. And then I'll go kill Graves on his blue buff. He might have finished it by now. Watch this. Oh wait, I didn't. Okay, there we go. I was just barely out of range. There's a lot of range from minion XP soak. I guess I was just barely off for that one minion. That was unfortunate. Just honestly, seems like she's my best player. I'll try to play around her. Might be on wolves. Oh, he's mid. With Yumi, in fact. Watch this. I'm gonna W. Auto attack type. Team hat. <laughs> Auto attack is a great resetter. You can also do it while you're in your mid queue. This guy can't fight me. I have red buff. That would end very badly for him. Mm, Graves might actually be on Scuttle Crab. Auto attack. <laughs> oh my goodness. He messed up his dash there. If he would have played that a little bit better. Or if I would have had mana. I was actually out of mana so I couldn't R. Normally you want to R them when you have them feared. That way they can't dodge it. Because Warwick R is actually very easy to dodge. It's kind of funny though. This is why it's uh, not an easy matchup for Graves. Graves can't 1v1 Warwick very well. And if you fear him, even if he has phase rush, he can't really get away from you. I think Silas is rotating. He's just rotating really late. Okay, never mind. He's just AFK mid. He probably muted his whole team because he was losing. So he's not really realizing what's happening. I'm going to W. Get that attack speed and move speed bonus. Auto attack. Tia map. I auto attack. Q through. Once he was feared, I then r him so he couldn't flash it or dodge it. Remember, try to auto attack before you Q. Q has more range. I can't stress that enough. If you're opening up with Q, you're wasting a lot of damage. Dragon up in two minutes. A lot of you ask me how do you win on Warwick late game. The answer is you don't. Unless you have Dragon Soul. So just make sure you are uh, prioritizing dragons. That You should be taking the first dragon at the 5 minute 30, five minute 30 second mark with the back plant. So even if it is warded in these bushes or over here, you can still get to it safely and reliably without the enemies knowing. Silas. I'm going to take this and then I'm going to reset. We have Titanic we can get here. Titanic's a super big first buy. As you can see, Titanic and Cinder Hulk are about the same price. Once you have team at, it's a big reason why we just go for the Titanic. The auto attack resetter on it is huge. Very nice to have. We can't quite afford our boots. That's okay. We'll get a pink ward. Next, we'll get our tier 2 boots, or at least minimum tier 1s, into Cinderhulk. Against their team, I actually want Red Smite. Every single one of them is high damage except for Yumi, so we'll go for the Red Smites. Our Nimbus Cloak will speed us up regardless, so it's, it's not like we have to have... Uh, we don't have to have Blue Smite for the slow. If you don't have Nimbus Cloak, Blue Smite's a little more useful, but... We do have the... I mean, if you don't have the speed up from Nimbus, then you're going to want the Blue Smite, because Blue Smite speeds you up and slows them down. 
Auto attack, he threw. Auto attack, Titanic reset, he's dead. Graves is chilling on Yumi. He doesn't have full item. I can destroy him. He is dashes on cooldown. Auto attack. Q through. He, he literally just dashed. There's a two second gap. And I knew I could ult him for free. And then you can Q him right as they come out of it. Auto attack Q. Your Q and your uh, basically Titanic are both auto attack resetters. Graves is dead. Uh, Dragon isn't quite up yet. I'm on this side of the map. I'll go ahead and snag Harold. If I felt like the enemies were going to take it while I was over here, this wouldn't be an amazing trade. But I have bought Pryo and mid Pryo and Graves just died. So the odds of Grave leaving base and rushing straight at it without being seen by a ward is very slim. We're not even going to have to bother thinking about that. Riven should be able to solo Fior. Riven... Has slightly more CS and four kills up. I don't know how Tristan is getting sold by Silas, man. She has such a lead over him. He has 50 CS. Smited a little late. It's all right. And try to push through mid. Preferably lay Herald before the 14 minute mark to get turret plates. And a W since I'm already behind him. He's trying to get to that Tristana. Auto attack Q through. Auto attack Titanic. He's dead. I'm gonna go grab Dragon now. Ooh, my ult's coming up. Might be best to push turret while Silas is dead. I'm not necessarily trying to steal the farm from her. I'm just trying to aggress the turrets. I'm gonna go ahead and lay Herald. We'll break this real quick. Graves, looks like he's on his blue buff. He has tied items with us now. He has full item plus boots. Technically has more items than us. I know I can still crush him in a 1v1 even with his red smite. He can even Titanic reset on turrets, auto attack Titanic to get a little bit more damage in. Just want to get that last auto attack Titanic. Ooh. Mm, I was thinking about tanking turret, but I was just not tanking enough to save Harold so Harold could get another bump off on the inhib. I think uh, Graves on Dragon because oh never mind he actually based. If he comes over here, I'll kill him. He doesn't have a chance. Oof, I have ulti here. I'm gonna W. Oh! Alright, there we go. That's good enough for me. Sometimes you have to sacrifice a Tristana to kill the Graves. I say it worth. I don't think she had any shutdown, did she? I don't think she did. If you are no full items, I could solo her. I'm gonna pull, pull the red into the bush first. Silas is gonna be over here. It's making me a little timid. I'm two levels up on Fiora at full item. She does have team map though. I mean, uh, Ninja Tabbies. Ninja Tabby really OP versus auto attack fighters like Warwick. I wanna push for that dragon. If Silas shoves up, I am going to W and rip him apart. Looks like he's not. Mm, I should actually back. The Graves just saw his red buff was gone. I'm gonna reset and get my Cinder Hulk. I don't know where Tristan is going. She's just walking to a random area. Like I said, I'm gonna go for Red Smite. I have Nimbus Cloak anyways. Don't really need the Blue Smite slow. Red Smite's gonna do me way more good. Even if they get Dragon, not a huge deal. I needed to spend my gold. Graves had an item elite on me, even though, ooh, we stopped it as well. That's amazing, we still got it. All right, that's fantastic. I'm gonna W to get to that fight. No one's half health, so I might as well. Finally got someone half health. I'm gonna flash away, thank God for Nimbus Cloak. <laughs> Crazy that we lost that fight. Very sloppy fight. You gotta love Yumi. Go shove this out. Warwick struggles in 5v5s typically, especially if someone on your team's already dead. Like Velkos had died at the start of the fight before it really started. That's how we kind of got the dragon. He distracted while Tristana finished. Yeah, Nimbus Cloak can get you out of those bad situations though. I could have also ulted away. I wanted to save ult. If the enemies are on top of you, like if I try to ult this way and if the enemy's right there, 
Warwick's ultimate has a little hitbox behind him to where if you're behind Warwick when he tries to ult, then you can't. And that's how you wrap up a Graves on Warwick, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. My name is King Six. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time.